Hey everyone, this is Jason at Lorium Technology, bringing you the last video in the trilogy of things we did at Maker Fair in Milwaukee. Now this particular demonstration is set up to show the performance of our Floating Point Math Accelerated block. And even though it's looking a little haggard because it took something of a beating down at Maker Fair and on its way back, it was really eye-catching and worked very well for providing a good visual demonstration of what was going on. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at how the boards are set up and what's happening on that platform. It's a little hard to see in this view. Okay, so here's what's sitting on that platform. On the top, you can see we've got our Accelerate board. And then just down below it, we've got a red board from SparkFun. Now, just in case anybody's wondering, we use SparkFun in our, in our servo jitter video as well, a red board. And I just want to make it clear, we love SparkFun, and we think these are great boards. Um, but what we're demonstrating here shows some of the limitations of the microcontroller that's on a standard Arduino board, and it's not got anything to do with, with SparkFun or the Red Board. We think they're great products. So anyway, here's what we've got. Uh, our Accelerate card up above, our Red Board down below, and um, let's take a closer look at how they're actually configured with the fans. So we've got our Accelerate board here on the left and the Red Board on the right, and each of them is connected to their own fan at the bottom of that plastic tube, and that allows when they turn the fans on and off to control the flight of the ping pong ball. So let's back up again and take a look at it from a little bit further away. What this demo is showing is how much faster an Accelerate can do floating point math than a Redboard or Standard Uno or something like that. What's going on here is there's fans at the bottom of those tubes that are running continuously. And then each board gets a pulse simultaneously, which turn the fans off and begin a sequence of floating point math calculations. So at the same time the fans turn off, the floating point math calculations start. And it's just a, a long loop of a variety of different types of floating point math that it's doing. As soon as the calculations are done, the fans are turned back on. And what you're seeing here is that the Accelerate board is able to complete that math very, very quickly and turn the fans on. And it's represented by the fact that the ping pong ball barely drops at all, or it drops a little bit and you can see it turn back on. Um, whereas with the, the microcontroller and the red board, you can see that it's taking quite a bit longer for that math to get done. And as a result, the ball falls quite a bit further and takes longer to return back up to the top. And just to clarify one thing, yes, both boards are running the same sketch. The only difference between the two is for the Accelerate board, we're calling in or including our Accelerate floating point math library. And we've gone through and changed the code, replacing operators with function calls that actually call the functionality that's sitting out in our Accelerated hardware. Other than that, the sketches are exactly the same between the two boards. And so it's just a really good visual to demonstrate, you know, how much faster we can be doing math on Accelerate versus doing it on a standard Arduino type of board. Thanks for taking a look. I hope this provides a good visual of how that works or maybe the application of it. And it kind of gets your mind turning a little bit about what you might be able to do if you could perform some of these floating point operations that much faster. Thanks again. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.